good afternoon because I fell asleep all day today and I did not go to school and finals are due in like two weeks and I feel like I'm screwed. Anyway, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Joy Giannis and this is my vlog. Let's do that intro. Whoa. So it is December 1st and it is a Friday and it is the afternoon because I slept all day. Did not record any at all today. And I did not go to school and that's very bad because I got finals in like two weeks and I got a project due next Friday and I didn't go to Friday's class today. Guys, I just need prayers. I'm a mess, guys. Pray for me because I don't know what's going on. I'm just been everywhere lately. But anyway, guys, so it's December and it is the first day of December and I'm just so excited because it's leading up to Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday, not for the presents, but just because I like the season of it. I like the joy of it. I like when family comes together and just all have a good time. And that's just honestly what I like about it. So I will be doing a thing called Vlogmas. For those of you who don't know what Vlogmas is, Vlogmas is where you daily vlog up to Christmas. For those of you who don't know what daily vlogging is, which majority of you guys should know what daily vlogging is, Daily vlogging is basically where you post a video or a vlog every single day. So basically that's what I plan on doing because what's the best way for a new vlogger to come into YouTube by doing Vlogmas? I think Vlogmas will basically help me get the hang of holding a camera around every single day, reminding me to record. Oh, you gotta record because, you know, it's Vlogmas, you gotta do all this other stuff. And I think that that would get me into the mindset of carrying around a camera, vlogging, editing, all that crazy stuff. And just start there. So let's see where Vlogmas takes me. And let's see if I do well at it. Guys, bear with me. It is, like I said, it is the first time me doing stuff like this. So bear with me if it's not entertaining or anything. I'm trying here. I really am, guys. So since it's Friday, we have youth today for church. And I'm going to head over there in a few. But I'm not gonna wear this because I got a hoodie on, I got sweats, I got Tim's, guys. I am really bumming out today. I'm like bummy. So I'm gonna get changed and then I'm gonna head over to Arise and then I'll see you guys over there. So we are here at Arise. That was Maria. So we are here at Arise and I just kept saying Arise, but basically Arise is the youth group for my church. So we're about to get started and then. I'm not sure what else we're gonna do. We'll probably go out to eat, but I told her I'm not gonna go out to eat because I got no money for today. And yeah. So I was not able to close off my vlog last night because I didn't do anything at all yesterday. It is the next day, guys. It is December 2nd and it is a Saturday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just read a couple of Bible verses and I'm gonna just interpret them on how I see it and how it affected my life. So I'm gonna do probably like three or four and I'm trying to go through them as quickly as possible because I don't want this thing to be like a 20 minute video. And yes, I am a Christian and I do love God. And I'm just gonna quickly jump into the verses and how I interpret them. So here's verse one. So it says, Psalms 119, verse 105. It says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So what that means is that, so when you incorporate that Bible to your life, and you start following the instructions that is telling you to handle any situation or to help fix certain aspects in your life, then it will, your pathway is lit and you just gotta follow it. Follow that light to where you wanna go because if you start, say, if you're following a light and then you end up straying away from that light, then you're gonna be lost into darkness and you're gonna not know where you're going. But if you follow that path, into the light and you continue to start like following it then you're gonna know where you're going and you're gonna find that place where you, that destination that you want to go so i'm just gonna do one more if my phone continues working 
And then the last verse is Proverbs 15, verse 1. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Now that basically just plants out, puts everything there. If you come with kindness towards somebody about a situation, or if somebody's coming at you crazy, and you come soft and genuine and just tell them, look, I'm not here to fight. I'm here to tell you that what you did was wrong. Or you're coming at me reckless right now, I'm going to wait till you calm down for me to come back. A lot of times when we're younger, we just react. And that's not the best way to do. And at times, even when we get older, we're just like, we're older. Like, we don't want nobody trying to show us off and try to tell us all of that. Trying to make us look small. We're just ready to go. We're on go. We're just ready to start swinging. But it, when you just start swinging, and you guys just like, if somebody comes at you and you just punch them, you don't even know what they're going to say. That's just going to end up leading to a bigger destruction, and you don't need that. Negativity is just something that's trying to bring everybody down, and it's not going to stop until it just crushes you inside. So try, I encourage you guys to try to at least stay positive when something goes wrong. Try to just, it's okay to feel that anger. It's okay to feel that scared, that loneliness, whatever it is. It's okay to feel that. But try to know that there are better things out there. Try to know that there's positivity. And it's, I guarantee you, if you handle things more positive, things might come crashing down. But try if you try to stay positive, if you continue to try to stay motivated, try to continue to go, then I guarantee you that things will work in your favor. It's going to take time, guys. Trust me. Patience is key. If you don't have patience, it's not going to work for you guys. But patience is key. And that's that verse right there. This, honestly... I could just sit here and I could tell you guys what how to handle certain stuff, but at times it does get hard for myself to do certain things. So it's just a little thing that I could also take from this because as much as it's difficult to handle certain things, I know it's extremely hard when people come towards you. Before, when I was in high school, anybody came towards me, I was just ready to I was on go. I was ready to start swinging on people. I was ready to just, if anybody came at me in some type of way, looked at me sideways, I was just ready to curse them out. But now, a year and almost two years, basically, it is two years, um, I feel like a better person. Like, it's, well, it has been a year. Because in that one year, I was trying to transition myself, and it was kind of a low place for me. But now, I'm just prepared for 2018. 2017 is coming to a close, but guys, I'm just, I feel like next year I'm just gonna just do things that will help benefit me and things that just help motivate me. So things like this, like I started this, guys, and that's what's gonna come into my 2018 year. And I didn't know I was gonna plan on doing this. Like last year, I didn't know I was gonna be doing this. But every year you learn something new. And this is just something to help me put myself together and try to like get my mind get the thoughts of my mind together and try to figure out how I'm going in the right direction so that is all I have for you guys today thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see more of this if you guys want to see acoustic covers because I got my guitar here guys I was practicing earlier I probably will be doing some acoustic covers because it's Christmas guys and it's vlogmas and What's Vlogmas without any Christmas songs? So I'll probably throw some of those in, in the nearby vlogs. And guys, 23 days until Christmas. And I can't wait, guys. This is a season to give to those in need and just to give in general. And this is a season just to be joyful, to be happy. Guys, spread positivity, not negativity. Positive, guys. Positive. And always have a smile on your face because why would you be mad, fool? It's Christmas. Be happy. I'll see you guys in my next vlog, and as always, God bless.